what's up guys so today is no vlog but me and Corey Corey's here Let me zoom out. we're here at the nook and uh, we're gonna do a little food review for you or a little coffee shop review if you may say so, I got a cappuccino 16 ounce it's about this tall <laughs> if you compare it to my hand tall? it's that tall what did you get Corey this is a CJF WC or a Cracker Jack Crap with cream. Yeah, so. I also got a 16 ounce, which I guess you can see is a little bit larger than a hand. That's plenty. I got a Crap because it's super hot outside and I needed something cool and refreshing. And then for my croissants, I got a chocolate croissant, which is pretty big. And I got a... A miniature. Sausage <laughs> and cheese croissant, which is... Miniature. Perfect for a bite-sized snack, I suppose. So, I can't complain, it's, it looks tasty. It does. So it let's is. get into the food for your time. Right. Now I'm gonna get a bite or the chocolate that. Yeah, I'm just gonna like frontal it, you know? I think that's how it's supposed to go. Always bring the croissant to your mouth and not your mouth to the croissant. Now off the back, it's not the best croissant I've ever had. It's not the best chocolate croissant I've ever had. It is good though. You do warm it up and there is chocolate inside of it. It's nice and fluffy. And it's a good size. So, I mean, you can find a better croissant, but if you're here at the University of Houston and you want a pretty good croissant while you're studying in a nice coffee, this is the perfect place to come to. It's super greasy and it's buttery and flaky and very light. Mm. So it's very, it greets your palate very kindly, but because of the grease, you may want to grab a few napkins before you delve into your study As time. You can see my hands. Yeah. But it's very tightly packed, or, or at least the sausage is kind of dense. It's kind of nice because it's spread out throughout. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. It's not like a bite of bread, then the sausage. I'm getting everything at once, immediately from the get-go. Okay, so I just hit the chocolate in the middle. That was pretty good. That was pretty awesome. Do you want to show what it looks like on the inside? Yep, yeah, of course. Well, there's not much to show. Let me see if I can open it. It just seems like it's like two hints of Nutella inside of it. And then they have the chocolate on top. Yeah, so apparently there's little, there's two streams of sausage in here, right? That way you're not getting that awkward sausage down the middle. You're getting it nice and even throughout the mouth. <laughs> I don't want to get too into detail because it might become gross at some point. Now, I haven't added any sugar to it. But from what I can see, the coffee's pretty good. It's nice. It's rich. Uh, it's tasteful. There's a bug on me. Get away, bug. Um, but yeah, how's your drink? Let's try it. I've never had this before, and I drink coffee more often than the average person, maybe, but not often, if that makes sense. So. Okay. So, it's hazelnut mixed with caramel, which is actually pretty nice. You definitely sense the mixture of the two, but you don't ever sense them independently whatsoever. So it kind of tastes like a Cracker Jack, but it's kind of nice. It has a very strong flavor that's not overbearing. So that is to say that it's very sweet and welcoming for people who aren't used to like really strong coffee drinks. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree. Mine as well. You don't get that much of a coffee hit when you drink cappuccino from, from like other places. Now, this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's a nice, light, brown, colorful, I added sugar on top to hit that, or blend up. Um, and that's a close up of Corey's. But yeah, as you can see, his looks like a fluffy cloud. And I'm sure it tastes like one too. This is like one third coffee and two thirds dessert drink. <laughs> it it kind of reminds me of Starbucks when they brought out the s'mores. I don't know if you ever had that s'mores. Uh, it kind of looks like it. 
that's uh, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, it has a nice color. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's obviously not a dark brown, so it's not going to be strong. It's probably a sweeter one. So I'm gonna finish this off. Corey, I see you already finished it off. <laughs> it was a small, but it was good. Yeah. Very satisfied. The sausage was not spicy. And it wasn't too hot where I'm like <laughs> having to sit my drink. So I don't know, it was, it was solid. I give it a six and a half out of ten. I give my croissant a seven. Uh, if you're looking for a good croissant, a nice coffee, come study. I think it's a great place. Make sure you check out the nook. Um, but yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't a vlog or anything, but we will be having a vlog tomorrow, hopefully. Let's hope. And if we don't, it'll be out soon. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Check out Corey's channel. Yes, Corey Story on YouTube. That's YouTube with the channel Corey Story. I, I need to change the URL, I just realized, because it's not <laughs> reflective of the channel name. But yeah, check it out. I'm sure you can provide a URL yeah. in the description. In description, exactly. Or like an annotation right here. Yeah. Check it out. Thanks for watching. And peace.